Hello, everybody. We're back again. Actually, within a reasonable period of time this time. And uh, we're going to do some destroying some building. Who knows? I wanted to check out the uh, Stegosaurus, who is rather large at the moment, actually. Perhaps fully grown. I'm not sure. But I would imagine so with a age such as that. 33. I do wonder... Oh, day 299. I'm recording this at perfectly the right moment. Um, I wonder how old the T-Rex is. Let's find out. The very... Um, non-hostile T-Rex. Hey, mate. 80. Okay. They're not super old. But the Mosasaurus will be older still. Probably 90 something. 94, 95. Maybe. The Mosasaurus, who is hostile. Um. Well, there's, there's one thing you can see that I've already done. I've uh, started filling this in a little bit. Give me you. Oh, right. Uh, 99. Okay, wow. So, between now and the last episode, I did a bit of hunting. Some might say. There was, um, over by that village, there's a ravine, and there was a, an exposed dragon's den down in there, and I went ahead and destroyed that, because I'm a boss, and I got this armor, which is rather nice. Um, I upgraded my sword, uh, sword, pickaxe, rather. Um, sword is the same, but I did grab some other crap among just ore and resources. I also got... I got those diamonds in there, that emerald. These swords, which are rather schmick and nice. And I think that was everything I got in the dragon den, or well, other than the dragon pieces. But uh, anyway, um, I did a little bit of work over here too, um, just on the inside of the cone. Um, finishing up. Nearly making it look nice ish. Um, yeah, it's it's not quite done still, but I want to start working on the interior a little bit. And I also came through and sorted all the DNA out, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, today I wanted to work down under here. So yeah, like I said, I've done a little bit of this. But I dug out all of the crap that was under here too, so it's flat. Oh god. He's wearing booties. Now I have the booties, but they're worthless. Whatever. Anyway. I want to dig out this side now, basically, is what I'm getting at. So I think what I want, right, is I want kind of like a catwalk along here. There's a bird going off in the background. Sorry about that. I had to deal with renegade bird screaming at the top of his lungs, as he so chooses to do. Anyway, I want to have a catwalk along here that you can walk up to and stand up at the glass, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I want this to go further, further, way further down, which is going to be a lot of work, but it'll... Hopefully, hopefully it will look nice. That's weird. Yeah. That's weird. I don't like that. Anyway. We are going to dig now. Um, and while we dig, we can, I don't know, hang out, tell stories to each other. I saw uh, Elton John live a little over a week ago, as of recording this, not as of when it goes up, it'll be 
ages before this goes up. Um, yes, I saw him live in Brisbane. Uh, at which I didn't realise when I actually bought the ticket in August of 2022. But it, it was his last ever concert in Australia. So that was... Pretty cool, I guess. Um, I don't know. He kind of hasn't. Uh, he doesn't sing the way he used to, obviously, because he's a seventy-five-year-old man now. But he hasn't really. Um, I guess what I'm saying is he doesn't sing super well. He hasn't taken care of his voice very much, um, which is fine, I guess. But you know, when your job is you sing and you play the piano. And you're only good at one of those things now. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't know. It was just... I still enjoyed myself, obviously. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It was just a little bit strange. Probably because I saw Billy Joel live in December of last year in Melbourne. And he kind of has... He's only 73, he's two years younger. Only two years younger, rather. And, uh, I feel like he has taken care of himself a little bit more. You know, never did as many drugs and, you know, that sort of stuff. So he's, he's, um, he sounds, he sounds like himself, but old. Whereas Elton doesn't sound like Elton anymore. Um... But I'm also just a bigger fan of Billy Joel. You know, I, I don't like that many Elton John songs other than the hits. So it's... This is dying very quickly. Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, it was, you know... Like I said, I still enjoyed myself seeing Elton John live. You know, I recorded a fair bit of it. Um... And, you know, just the fact that it was his last ever Australian concert. And it was in Brisbane, of all places. Um, you know, I, I would have gone just for that. And, well, and it's probably Billy Joel's last ever concert in Australia. Um, which was in Melbourne, which makes more sense. Which I had to fly down for. Um, because it's about 2,000 kilometres away, or whatever that is in miles. Um, it's like, a, it's a two and a half hour flight, basically. It's from nearly the top of the country to nearly the bottom. Um, if you have ever seen a map of Australia. Well, not nearly the top, probably three quarters of the way up, but Queensland is... What are you doing down here, Liz? Hey? Still alive, clearly. Um, maybe I have some ores that I can smelt that... Uh, can I make silver pickaxes? I can. I might do that because I have heaps of silver. Hopefully it lasts. That's a zombie. Die. I wonder if silver lasts longer than diamond. I can't imagine it would, honestly. I want a dragon. I need a dragon. I don't need a dragon, but I want a dragon. I went up there to sleep. I should do that first. Smelt later. Oh, an emblemon. Hello, sir. Really? Oh. Oh, he was floating in midair. That was weird. These might be the first end pearls I've gotten. The first ender pearl. Let's use it. Let's go to this Minecraft fan out of there. Ooh, is anybody a fan of Skydust Minecraft anymore after, uh... 
some stuff came out about his um oh, geez, uh, piece of shit. <laughs> Just put it frankly. 